The comprehensive report says global greenhouse gas emissions have continued to increase, arising from unsustainable energy and land use, including patterns of consumption and production, as the UN chief lauded the report as a clarion call to fast-track climate efforts by every country. Humanity is on thin ice, and that ice is melting fast. As today's report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, details, humans are responsible for virtually all global heating over the last 200 years. The rate of temperature rise in the last half century is the highest in 2,000 years. Concentrations of carbon dioxide are at their highest in at least 2 million years. The climate time bomb is ticking. The report warns that with current nationally determined contributions that the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold in terms of global warming would be breached this century and make it harder to limit warming below 2 degrees, which could have catastrophic implications. It starts with parties immediately hitting the fast-forward button on their net zero deadlines to get to global net zero by 2050 in line with the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities in light of different national circumstances. Specifically, leaders of developed countries must commit to reaching net zero as close as possible to 2040, the limit they should all aim to respect. The 1.5 degree limit is achievable, but it will take a quantum leap in climate action. The synthesis report is viewed as an effort to provide clarity to policymakers as they consider further cuts in emissions amid a transition to greener energy sources. The IPCC says emissions must be halved by the mid-2030s if the world is to have any real chance of limiting the global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels which is a key target enshrined in the Paris Climate Agreement reached in 2015. The Secretary General again calling on leaders of developed countries to commit to reaching net zero emissions as close to 2040 as possible, while the leaders of emerging economies must achieve the same as close to 2050 as possible. With no new coal and the phasing out of coal by 2030 in OECD countries and by 2040 in others. Guterres again called for the ending of all public and private funding of coal and the shifting of subsidies from fossil fuels to a just energy transition. Sherwin Bricepies, SABC News, New York.